Hello everybody, Gilligan Kruger 0829 here with a quick little Deadliest Warrior prediction video. So the next new episode airs tomorrow night at 10 on Spike, as you all probably know. And as you also probably all know, the matchup is Hernan Cortez versus Ivan the Terrible. And I'm here to give a quick little prediction video. First off, let me say I'm very excited for this matchup for two reasons. One, as you all know, I'm extremely dissatisfied by the outcome of the last episode, Roosevelt vs. Lawrence of Arabia, but I'll revert you to my last video for that. And two, this is Conqueror vs. Conqueror. Now some people say it's bad guy vs. bad guy, when technically these two are just called really bad, even though it's bad is literally a point of view, but those are the two reasons. and. My little prediction, I'm just going to go down the line. I don't know too much about what the weapons are, so let's start with what I saw in the first 15 minutes was their test of the Arquebus for Cortez, and I am so impressed by that gun that it actually literally hit two birds with one stone, that he got it through the neck on both of them and killed them, and also got that other guy and I know the reload time is really nasty, but you know what? As bad as the reload time is for the Arquebus, Ivan the Terrible's weapon could be even worse. Who knows? Uh, I don't know what swords they're using, although I think in the opening for Season 3, the Cortez expert is seen cutting through a pig with the sword, so... Who knows, it might be able to stab too, but again, I have no idea about Ivan the Terrible Sword. And the special weapons are Ivan's Battle Axe, which I'm not sure what it's called. Tell me what it is in the comment selection below. And I'm hoping, uh, this is what I've seen in the video, Cortez has the Halberd. And let me say right now, I fucking love the Halberd. It's one of my favorite weapons on Deadliest so far. Deadliest Warrior so far, when the Knight had it, and when Vlad the Impaler had it, I really liked it. So, already, just a little want here. My edge goes to that, because it can do three things at once. Overall, though, my money is on Cortez, personally, for two big reasons, other than the weapons. One, I think he's more sane. Like, again... This is kind of biased because I know a lot more about Cortez, well, a little bit more about Cortez than I do about Ivan, but from what I hear that Ivan bathed in mercury and killed most everyone in Russia, as opposed to Cortez was killing the Aztecs for conquering purposes, I, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I just think Cortez is more sane. Also, it comes down to the armor, and the armor is always a big feature. The armor was a big feature in Genghis or Genghis Khan versus Hannibal, which, again, another Conqueror versus Conqueror episode, one of my favorites of this season so far. And since Cortez has the steel plate armor that the Conquistadors wear, and I think Ivan has the chainmail. That's also going to be a big focus, and I think I saw in the first 15 minutes of the episode a bullet shell piercing or bouncing off of, more so, Cortez's armor. So, my money, quite frankly, is on Hernan Cortez. That's who I think is going to win, and that's who I want to win. I'm not going to be really pissed at this episode if it's the other way around, because I think it will be cool no matter who wins. But my money, my prediction is on Cortez. So what do you guys think? Who do you think is going to win, and do you agree with my personal state? If so, feel free to comment in this section below. Let me know who you think is going to win, and let me know if there are any episodes Coming up, we only have three left. Uh, French Foreign Legion versus Gurkha, Pancho Villa versus Crazy Horse, and Vampires versus Zombies left in Season 3. And actually, any other questions you want to ask me about Deadliest War or any of the seasons at all, I'm more than willing to listen, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, peace!